Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mail Piece of the Month. I am Eric Formica. And I'm Lisa Formica. And this month, we wanted to talk about fonts and specifically how you can take uh, a go from a boring font on an envelope and turn it into Shazam, something really interesting. So we're going to show you a few examples, and hopefully it'll help make your package more powerful. And really, this is to make it stand out a little more. And we've noticed maybe over the past couple months, at least in my personal mailbox, uh, getting a lot more mails. So we're back to trying to make it stand out from the rest again. Right. So um, also, I encourage you to go on Pinterest. And uh, they have a lot of cool addressing for envelopes. So in this example, uh, they used a um, an italicized font, a pen font, and then um, a normal typewriter font for the address. And it's perfectly deliverable, can still go automated, but it looks really good. So these were some, this is kind of the normal font, but if we were to take the same six by nine, we have all that real estate, we can punch it up, you know, with something that is italicized, looks handwritten, a little bit bigger of a font, make it just stand out a little more. And as Lisa said, with the barcode on there, it's all fully machinable, fully automated, able to be processed by the post office. And also it makes a big difference when you move the barcode to the bottom of the envelope. If you're gonna use a nicer um, font, it just, it doesn't look as, um, I don't know. <laughs> Mailey. As automated. <laughs> automated. And also if you move it, it's good for the production side, especially if you're using different inks. The majority of equipment out there, if you're going to use, say, a blue for your font color, uh, that and you want that barcode to be in black, they're going to be on two different heads. So it is nice to get it away from there. makes it a little bit easier on the production side. Another idea is to use a label on the envelope. This is, you know, a 9 by 12, obviously, but we printed the name and address uh, on the label and then affixed it to the envelope, which can also be done by machine. Here's a smaller envelope, same example. And um, it's a little more expensive, but it adds an element of interest. And you so. can really recreate that. I mean, it's nice to have the real label to have that feel, but you can also, if you have full color uh, bleed on your envelope, you can create that outline that looks like a label, you know, within the preprint. Um, by just you know carving that out in your art. So there's a lot of different unique design features you can do to make it look like you have a label on there. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for joining us. See you next time.